Hi, my name is Faith from Diet Cleaning Services. So Diet Cleaning Services is a cleaning company based in Montreal, Canada. We do both residential clean and commercial clean. We clean homes, we clean offices, warehouses, and industrial sites. So today, guys, I am going to be talking to us about something really important, which is, can you guess, can you guess, can you guess, can you guess? Can you guess? <sighs> cleaning and disinfecting our remote controllers. So our remote controllers for our media players, TV, cable boxes are often handled at home or wherever. So it's really important for us not just to clean but to disinfect because um, you know commonly touched surfaces easily transmits viruses and bacteria and you know with the flu cold and the COVID-19 you really want to take proper care you want to practice proper hygiene so don't just clean your remote controls always try to disinfect as often as possible I am going to be showing you what I use in this video to do that it's pretty easy pretty simple straight to the straight to the point uh, so this I have this Lysol wipe Trust me, this is my go-to disinfectant wipe. It helps a lot. It is really effective. It says here that it kills about 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria, and it also kills the virus that causes COVID-19. Can you see that, guys? So, I always use this. I have the Lysol spray, but no, I don't use it. I It's easier for me to use this. Uh, with the spray, guys, you cannot spray directly on your remote controls. It is going to damage your remote control. Always check your user guide anyway before you do all of these. You can't spray directly on your remote controls. It's going to ruin it. I also have my alcohol uh, uh, mixture here. So I have about 70% alcohol and 30% water in there. So uh, I'm going to show you how I do this. Pretty easy, pretty simple. Make sure you do this as often as possible because most of the times when we touch our remote controls, we don't do that with clean hands. You know, I am saying the truth. So before you do this, okay, before you do this, always make sure that your batteries are out, okay? Always take out your batteries before you clean. So this is how I go about mine. I'm going to use my wipe to just clean you see this it's cleans and it disinfects well you can clean with uh with the microfiber cloth i have the microfiber cloth over here you can dump this with water and clean first before you disinfect but you know this is pretty easy too it takes out dirt as well as as well as disinfect okay so i do this i do this easy straight to the point that's it once i'm done I just place it here for it to air dry and uh also i have if if you have stuff stuck in them if you have maybe food snack popcorn whatever stuck in there and you want to try to get it out or you want to try to disinfect uh all you have to do is use your uh, spray some alcohol in there at the tip like so Oh, my stuff fell out. I'm sorry. Okay. So, I wet the tape. And I'm grabbing another remote control. And you can just go. That is if you have uh, stuff stuck in there, okay? You want to clean in between the buttons. Make sure the two you wet the two the two sides. Okay, that's easy and simple. If you don't have the wipe at home or you don't want to use the wipe, you want to use what you have at home, uh, the the alcohol and water. Just grab your cloth, grab your microfiber cloth, spray, dump it a little bit. And then this is the same one that I took out the battery. Remember, you don't wipe them with the batteries on. So I just go, okay. 
easy and simple and i put it there for it to dry that's all you have to do guys always make sure that you disinfect your remote controls once you're done straight up to the to get your hands washed wash your hands for at least I'm gonna throw that in the trash for at least 20 seconds okay guys i'll see you in my next video you take care of yourself and have a good day bye